there friends so today I'm going to be doing a quick happy mail haul just before I leave for my wedding and honeymoon in the Dominican Republic um so it is I believe the 10th today so anything that comes in after today I won't be showing you till when I get back um, so the first shop is from Beck Lucas Planner Shop and she was so kind to send me um, this kit just for review. She didn't even ask for a video or anything but it was so gorgeous that I had to include it obviously in my happy mail as well as a plan with me which is already up on my channel. Definitely check out her shop. I'm going to link it down below but the sticker quality is phenomenal. I remember when I purchased from her in the beginning when she first opened her shop. She's definitely grown quite a bit as a sticker maker and I don't know I just think the paper she uses and the ink is awesome. And she also sent me her shop anniversary sheet, which I ended up using most of in my February monthly plan with me because it was just so cute. I don't know. I love everything. It's very chic. And thank you so much for sending me this. Okay, and the next shop is K Stickers Co. She actually sent me this for review and to kind of include in a video. And I do, as always, get my honest review. So that sticker there was a little bit hard to get off, but I did rip it quite vigorously. <laughs> um, everything else seems to be great, actually. Um, the first thing I'll show you is these neutral colored icons, which is perfect for my Erin Condren neutral planner. And then there's some half boxes, which I love because I always use those. And these little, little shopping bags she included. The other items I actually picked out myself. And so the kit that I picked up from her shop is this gorgeous pastel, like, purple, silver, blue floral patterned one, and I love it. I can't wait to use this in the spring. It is so, so, so well done that it's easily become one of my favorite kits that I'm hoarding for spring. So I would definitely recommend checking out K Stickers Co., which, again, I will link down below. And now for something that I did order myself with my own money. Um, this order is from Willow Walla Co. And this is a shop that I've recently become obsessed with, like crazy obsessed with. I already have two more orders on the way that'll get to me by the time I get back from the Dominican. So the sampler was gorgeous. And then these are so cute. I already used some of them because I could not wait <laughs> until I did the haul video. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to start collecting these just how I collect my munchkins and my Modi stickers. Oh, they're just so darling, and I love Gertie. <laughs> Gertie's obviously the main focus of her shop, um, and it actually makes me laugh, especially her new Toonie Tuesday that she just came out with, which I actually did order because it was awesome, and then the taco sheet, which I needed in my life. And then I did technically order these from Bubba Bear Studios, my first ever order, and I'm addicted to the shop too now. Um, I did have $25 of shop credit though, so I only had to pay like $0.90 cents Canadian for this order, which was awesome. Um, when she opens up her new website, I'm definitely placing an order when I get back from my wedding as like a gift to myself, because these stickers are so cute. Oh, I love them. Yeah, so that was a sampler, which I already used a sticker from because I could not not use it. Um, I love these unicorns. Again, I did pick these all out myself. Um, I won shop credit like months ago for a loop giveaway, and I finally got around to ordering from almost everyone. I think I sold like 12, which is quite a lot. But yeah, and I love this. Oh my god, dry poo to the rescue for those dry shampoo days because, you know... Every girl has them, and these ones are awesome. Nope, with the middle finger. Love that. I don't even know my weird commentary, but you can pretty much get the point of the sticker. Um, so yeah, minus my gross nails, because I'm getting them done this weekend for the Punta Cana and wedding-ish related reason. So yeah, just ignore those. You probably won't even get to see my nice nails, because by the time I get back, they'll be off, like falling off. <laughs> um, the next shop is... Hunter Bell Press, and I actually ordered this on Black Friday, so it did take like two months to get to me. Well, a month and a half, because I did just get it on like the 8th of January and ordered this on Black Friday. But that's okay, I did order this dash dashboard, which I love, and then there was this thing where you get a free sticker sheet, so I picked the pink VS bags rather than the blue striped 
bags are supposed to be like Bath and Body Works, I think. And then I tried out another new shop. Um, again, I'm obsessed with this one too. This is by Tamashi Prince, and she is Canadian. Um, her sampler is adorable. I just love it. I'm so happy I placed this order and bought these stickers because they're just so unique compared to like all of the other. There's so many things out there, but this is like the Happy Mail one. And then I got this like sleeping burrito one, which is me every single day. <laughs> and then these ones are so cute for like date nights and stuff. Ugh, I love those. My fiance was actually like making fun of me for buying these. He calls them weird stickers. But, you know, and I love these, but, you know, all stickers are weird to, you know, our, our men, I think. <laughs> um, and these ones are me because I barely get sleep, and when I do, I'll definitely be the burrito. Okay, so the next shop is actually stickers that I had shop credit to purchase. Um, so I ended up having to pay for shipping, which I think was $8, but other than that, that's all I paid for these two kits. Um, and I actually forget what shop they're from, so I hate voiceovers, but oh well. Um, this one is from, I can't even see, Joyful Planner, yes. So I've never tried this shop before, um, so that's why I really enjoyed winning that shop credit, because it enabled me to be able to try all these new shops. So this is like a rose gold kit, which I'm definitely saving for fall, because I'm pretty sure these colors work best in fall time, at least in my brain. And then I got like a lighter pastel color one, one, which will be nice for like my birthday week, I'm thinking. So I love the gold and the pink. Usually I'm not a pink girl, but when it comes to planner stickers, anything goes. So I'm really excited to try these. They're in matte, so I will let you know how they go, and you'll probably see them in a plan with me anyways. And then the last shop is Adorably Amy Designs. Um, I already hauled this before actually, but I remember I told you guys that it came damaged in the mail. Um, and the only thing I really wanted was a new one of these, and she actually sent me a new one, and it came super, super quickly actually. Nah, I keep saying the same thing. Anyways, it came super quickly, <laughs> and I was very happy to receive a new one, so it was great customer service. And so this was actually filmed a little bit later on, after I took like a bath and cut my nails and stuff, so that's why my rings are off and whatnot. But, um, so I actually got some Happy Mail today, and all the other stuff was from the other day, but this is from the Coffee Monsters Co., and I did collect all the beans again, so I actually got another bean sampler. And I'm going to try these time stickers to make your planner into, like, a, what's it called, a timed planner for the day. And then I got these Starbucks emojis, which were part of her Sweet Saturday deal. And I picked up these pencils for when I'm drawing because I have a project that's ongoing right now. And then I actually cut the corner off because the bean wasn't cut with the silhouette machine, so I had to cut it out myself. Um, and then I got these silhouette stickers for eventually when I start using my silhouette machine. And then she actually sent me these half boxes as like a little gift, which is super sweet. Thank you, Helen. And I could not pick up, I could not not pick up the new spring taters kit that she came out with. Oh, it's like so amazing. I can't wait to use this. I'm definitely thinking of using it mixed with some washi for a um, plan as I go. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed my sticker haul. I can't wait to see you guys when I get back with a new sticker haul. Hopefully I'll have enough to do one. Um, if not, that means more shopping. Alright guys? Okay, thanks for watching. See you in my next one. Bye.